At this time, we will have the national anthem performed by Xander Barron, 17-year-old son of former Mott Hall teachers Jansen Barron and Melanie Tai. Xander enjoys playing classical guitar and the cello. He also loves math like many of our present Mott Hall students. We will now have Xander performing his rendition of the national anthem. <music> Welcome scholars, families, teachers, school staff, Principal Ms. De Los Santos, and Assistant Principal Ms. Nazario. Welcome everyone to the first ever digital graduation of the Mott Hall School. We cannot say that we were expecting an online graduation, but then this pandemic hit and here we are attending graduation on our devices. Nonetheless, we are here to celebrate the hard work and dedication of Mott Hall's class of 2020. We are here to commemorate our experiences and all the new friends we have made at Mott Hall. At this school, we have had the opportunity to grow, learn, and prepare for our future. There are many small memories that will stay with me forever. Someone exclaiming that they'd go to a movie theater and buy an extra medium drink for their last day on earth, and the class erupting in laughter during EOA. The naming competitions with my friends, naming countries, states, books, video games, and even elements, like nerds, or the mysterious milk someone brought to one of our winter holiday celebrations. Or when a classmate said, if I look like a potato, then you look like a Brussels sprout during an art class. Or playing games such as Uno and the coin game with friends at lunch or any other time we could find. I know that my three years at Mall Hall will leave a lasting effect on my life. I became better at participating in discussions and at speaking to others. I learned some valuable lessons, such as don't be too hard on yourself, and it's fine to make mistakes just as long as you try to learn from them. No one is perfect and everybody messes up at one time or another, so try not to dwell on past mistakes. Attempt to learn from your mistakes and to prevent future ones. This is essential to growing and achieving any goal. In just a few short months, we are going to move on to high school. The switch may be challenging and sudden. Nevertheless, we will face the difficulties and hopefully come out successful with our persistence and determination. I hope that everyone enjoys their time in high school as much as possible. I hope that over the next four years, you find your passion and, and what you love doing, whether that be graphic design, biology, mathematics, creative writing, or anything else. I wish my fellow classmates the best of luck and their new school and throughout the rest of their lives. I, of course, cannot be giving this speech without the help and advice of others. Thank you, everybody, 
who helped me be the best student and classmate I could be, thanks to my family, my teachers, my classmates, and my friends, who helped me grow and learn. You supported me along my journey through middle school, through the ups and downs from beginning to end. Thank you, everyone. I wish the very best for high school and beyond. I will miss you, Mahal. Hello, I want to begin by welcoming all of you to today's Mod Hall virtual graduation for class 2020. My dear Mod Hall graduates, teachers, families, and friends, I'd like to first address our parents in Spanish to congratulate them on this special day. Saludos y bienvenidos. Soy Judith de los Santos Peña, la directora de la Escuela Mod Hall. Como todos sabemos, la pandemia cambió el último año de nuestros estudiantes de manera significativa y profunda. Las tradiciones que usted, sus familias y nuestra comunidad habían estado anticipando dura, durante tres años no se llevaron a cabo como esperábamos. Aunque la pandemia ha tenido un gran impacto en nosotros, no minimiza los años de arduo trabajo que se requiere para obtener un diploma de escuela intermedia. Los desafíos que nuestros estudiantes han enfrentado en estos últimos meses y que han superado para avanzar son un verdadero testimonio de lo valiente que es la clase del 2020. Hoy es un día especial. La graduación representa la culminación de logros, esfuerzos y sueños. Hoy celebramos el apoyo de padres, familia y maestros que estuvieron al lado de nuestros estudiantes para inspirarlos, apoyarlos y llevarlos a triunfar. Gracias por guiar y encaminar a nuestros estudiantes que llegaron a nuestra escuela como niños y hoy son jóvenes graduados de la Escuela Mar Hall. Le deseamos mucha suerte y éxito a través de su jornada de estudios. Muchas felicidades. Hello and welcome again to the virtual Mar Hall graduation for class 2020. Graduates, teachers, parents, families, and friends, I am Judith de los Santos Peña, the principal of the Mod Hall School. It is my honor and my pleasure to share a few words of remembrance and wisdom as we send you, our graduates, off to the next phase of your lives. I must confess that this is always a bittersweet moment for me. As we all know, the pandemic changed your senior year in significant and profound ways. Traditions that you, your families, and our community had been anticipating for three years did not take place how we hoped for. While the pandemic has had a significant impact on us, it doesn't minimize or dampen the years of hard work it requires to earn a middle school diploma. The challenges that you have faced in these last months and have overcome in order to move forward is a true testament of how brave the class of 2020 is. We left our building and each other in mid-March with the hope of coming together again before the school year would culminate. We were separated in ways we never imagined. In the midst of change, confusion, sadness, fear, you rose. You were creative, resourceful, and resilient. You gave it your greatest effort and invested the time to make it to today, your graduation. You are a special class that will always be remembered for your perseverance and hopeful outlook. Mod Hall stands proud to call you the class of 2020. Our virtual graduation today celebrates your achievement. It is the culmination of years of hard work, the actualization of goals attained, and the acknowledgement of successes achieved. So it is only fitting that today we commemorate the road that we have traveled on together these last years. It has been a journey that started with small steps, perhaps, but one that has taken us to remarkable heights. We have encountered some trials and tribulations along the way, soldiered on, and come out stronger for them. We have experienced exceptional moments, magical moments, and creative moments that will be fondly remembered in the years ahead. Henry Fonda wisely said, coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress and working together is success. 
As we look back over the last few, year, few years, certainly there was a beginning. And thankfully, there also was progress. And yes, undeniably, we have been successful. But let's start at the beginning. Do you remember your first day at Mar Hall? Your faces were excited and fearful at the same time. Who can forget when we came together for the first time? Nervous young students in the sixth grade, dressed in your Mar Hall uniforms with your summer packets and supplies on hand. Proud parents beside you and a dedicated staff waiting to meet you. You began your middle school travels with the circle of friends that would soon be your family. Every year, your community of friends and teachers grew larger. What a beginning it was, signaling what would be the start of wonderful things to come. Yes, we came together with a common purpose in mind, to encourage and develop lifelong learning in young girls and boys who today are young ladies and gentlemen. Your years at Mod Hall is a testament of how you have begun to discover and define yourself. I know that throughout your time together, you have created awesome memories of classes, projects, and school events. And through it all, your faces were glowing with energy and a drive to learn more. You discover new things and share your ideas with each other and with your teachers. Steadfast and determined, we all kept together. Day by day, we focus on our goal, keeping together and working together. We face some incredible and memorable moments Moments that we chose to use as stepping stones as we pursued our common goals and what progress we have made. You have learned the benefit of being a member of a community, the value of different perspectives and recognize the power of education and transforming lives through service learning this year. Your middle school years and the pandemic have taught you perseverance, dedication and determination in your efforts to complete assignments prepare for your exams, participate in fun activities, and build lasting friendships. This is the time when you take the tools you have been given and you create a path for your future. You will encounter amazing opportunities in high school, but you, the freshmen, are responsible for taking those opportunities and transforming them into meaningful experiences for yourselves. As you dream of the next four years, I want you to promise yourself you'll have the courage and the confidence to think big, dream big. The world has changed and the class of 2020 will be instrumental in determining how it will be rebuilt. We need empathy and compassion for a better world. Class of 2020, we need you to lead by example. This is your defining moment, even at your young age. At age 14, Anne Frank began writing her diary. At age 15, Malala inspired the world and won the Nobel Peace Prize. And at age 15, Greta Thunberg started an international climate change movement and was recognized as the person of the year. As you enter high school, allow yourself to discover new things, ideas, and to dream. Take your life in beautiful and bold directions. Start leaving your mark. Envision greatness in yourself and seize every opportunity that you can to achieve it for the betterment of our world. When you choose to live this way, you will make the world a better place and you will live a life that is successful beyond degrees, treasures, and possessions. Scholars, we know that you are Mod Hall strong and you are now ready, willing, and able to grasp the torch that we bestow on you today. Yours is the future, and on you, the world will come to depend. Congratulations. We wish you everything that you so richly deserve in the years ahead. I echo the wishes of our Mod Hall community when I say best of luck. It has been a true privilege walking with you these last years. You are now part of the Mod Hall leg legacy. Shine bright, class of 2020. Thank you.
Hello, everyone. And warm hugs and kisses to all my soon-to-be ninth graders. Woo! I am so happy and honored to have been invited. And it is a pleasure to be sharing this very special day with you, your families, and friends. At this time, it is with great pride and affection that I offer all of you wonderful students my most sincere and heartfelt congratulations on the joyous occasion of your eighth grade graduation from the Mott Hall School, the historic graduating class of 2020, a day, no, a year you will never forget in which you will share firsthand experiences with your children and grandchildren someday as they learn about the tribulations of 2020 in their history classes, science classes, social justice classes, and business classes, to name but a few. I can't help but recall and remember, and it feels like a privilege having been part of your educational life. And I will always carry the memories of welcoming you and caring for your well-being as newly arrived sixth graders in September of 2017. Those sweet faces and eager to learn enthusiasm were priceless. And your seventh grade was full of optimism, as well as some challenges that you learned from and overcame. I choose to remember all the fond memories, the laughter, the good times, the friendships, and I hope you do too. It seems like yesterday to me, but here we are three years later intertwine in each other's life again, as we all experience this unprecedented public health and economic crisis as a result of the global coronavirus. Can't even say the word properly, huh? Coronavirus pandemic. And although we know our top priority has been and will continue to be our health and safety, we also know that the Mott Hall School community will not allow COVID-19 or the horrific impact it has had on our lives to destroy our faith, our hope, our unity, or our perseverance. The Mod Hall family stands together through thick and thin, and once a Mod Hauler, always a, a Mod Hauler. We are stronger together, so I say, stand aside, COVID-19. We will acknowledge, rejoice, and celebrate who you are and who you wish to become. Today, we will celebrate you your achievements, your successes, your hard work. Even if we could not do it in person, you need to know you are loved and appreciated. And I say to you respectfully that I take tremendous pride in your courage, compassion, and selflessness through these trying times. I'm confident that your drive, determination, and creativity, your kindness, your heart, along with sheer willpower, will catapult you into your next journey. A journey that I truly believe will be full of beautiful experiences and amazing adventures in a world that I hope and I, I know and I believe you will make better. You will make it so that there's more peace and more justice for all our brothers and sisters. In closing to the class of 2020, congratulations again on this milestone. Please stay healthy, cherish your past memories, enjoy your future endeavors, and always, always reach for the stars. God bless you. I love you all. everyone and congratulations to the class of 2020. My name is Katia and I'm actually a Mott Hall graduate myself. I graduated in 2007 then I went on to pursue my passions in life which have always been music. I'm so happy to dedicate this next song to you called Bet It All which is about pursuing your passions in life whatever they may be no matter what to the fullest. I wish you the very best on the rest of your journeys and once again congratulations to the class of 2020. Here's Bet It All and I hope you enjoy.
let it come to this Cause no matter where I turn Every road remains unknown And I feel like I can't even breathe In the space I'm suffocating And I feel like the walls keeping in The storm has just got me praying But although I cannot see I know it'll come to me Every dream will become a reality Do it all as you I bet it all on you I never have to choose because it's you. Do it all is you. I bet it all on you. Now that I have no doubt because it's you. I bet it all on you. Bet it all on you. Bet it all on you. I bet it all on you. Bet it all on you. Bet it all on you. Cautivo, tu manera de inspirar Melodías al hablar En la juventud ¿Qué seré yo sin ti? No lo quiero ni pensar A tu lado me da igual Cuando siento que el aire me falta Y no puedo respirar Algo viene y me acuerda Que vale la pena esperar Aunque no lo pueda ver Si es a donde yo iré Cada paso no daré Do it all as you Solamente tú I never have to choose Because it's you Do it all as you Solamente tú I bet I have no doubt Because it's you I bet it all on you Solamente tú I bet it all on you I bet it all on you, solamente tú. Bet it all on you. I know that no matter where I go, in my heart you're always close. It's you. Sometimes, though the road may seem unknown, hear your voice in every word because it's you. I bet it all on you. Solamente tú, pero no on you. A ver, no on you. Solamente tú, pero no on you. Good morning, families, faculty, and the graduating Moho class of 2020. Even though this is virtual, graduation is a time to celebrate, gather, and a time to reflect on both our journey as well as the road ahead. In fifth grade, when I opened my middle school acceptance letter and saw that I got into Mall Hall, I wasn't happy. I didn't want to go to that little old school with a strict uniform policy. After attending MHS, for three years, I can definitely say that that was a small problem that quickly became outweighed by all the benefits of Mall Hall. First of all, Mall Hall's small size allows us to be a family instead of just a bunch of students and adults. Within my time at Mall Hall, I have created not only strong bonds with my classmates and lower classmen, but I have also become close and attached to my teachers and members of the school community. I have always been able to go to my teachers if I needed help with an, a certain assignment or to the guidance or Ms. Zillow Santos' office if I ever had a problem or concern. Whenever I had good news, I could tell any of my teachers or staff, even the lunch ladies, and they would be genuinely happy for me. Even though my classmates have forever driven me crazy and have done many 
many questionable things. In the end, we can come together to make jokes, help and support each other, despite the challenges we all face. Besides being such a close-knit community, Mahal offers endless opportunities to its students. From the demanding level of education, which prepares us to soar through our educational careers, to opportunities to improve our life experiences and connections to various prep programs. I have gained so much from Mont Hall. I have accumulated experience as a leader and representative from having been class president, a mentor to younger and incoming students, and several opportunities of being able to give back to the community. I have been able to venture into different clubs and activities that have challenged my brain and enhanced my talents. I have also become a better scholar, learning to have integrity in my work. I learned to work hard, which led up to me becoming this year's valedictorian. And thanks to Maud Hall, I was able to apply to and attend the Oliver Scholars Program, which helped me gain acceptance to one of the best boarding schools in the country, Chote Rosemary Hall. Mod Hall has given us class of 2020 knowledge that will help us in the future no matter what. When we go to our different high schools, some of us will be together for another four years, but others will have to go through the whole process of meeting new people again. But no matter the circumstances, we will sort through high school, college, and find careers that we shine in, despite our challenges. So, to my fellow classmates of 2020, even though there have been many bumps in our paths through middle school, including the recent acts of injustice and racism, and this current COVID-19 pandemic, which has canceled all of our senior activities and has caused our graduation to be virtual instead of in person, we still have to remember these last three years of hard work and prepare ourselves for the next three years to come. I'm definitely going to miss my hall and all of my classmates and all the experiences that I've had. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Mr. Hunt, and I'm so happy to be able to present some special awards to our graduates. This year's President's Education Award is presented to Athena Robinson, Elijah White, Baron Bautista, Eliana Paulino, and Aaron Coyne. The Manhattan Borough President's Award is presented to Tiffany Quesada and Julieta Mercado. The Attorney General Triple C Award is presented to Neftali Jerome and Danny Rel Garcia. The New York City Comptroller Award is presented to Cairo Estevez and Josephine Nunez. The United Federation of Teachers Certificate for Academic Achievement is presented to Zuri Cordoba. The United Federation of Teachers Medal of Recognition is presented to Isabella Nihilizio. The American Federation of School Administrators Leadership Award is presented to Jay Lee Henriquez. The Council of School Supervisors and Administrators of the City of New York Leadership Award is presented to Yamilex Gonzalez. And the Blanche Schwartz Award is presented to Dennis Alvarado. Congratulations, everybody. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ms. Kaiser, one of three eighth grade ELA teachers. Ms. Burroughs, Ms. Clark, and I are so proud of all the work you've accomplished this year, despite the obstacles. The Mott Hall Awards for Excellence in ELA are presented to Elijah White, Zuri Cordova Sanchez, Kevin Masso, Natalia Torres, and Elamar Casada. Congratulations and best of luck in high school. Hello. My name is Ms. Schwartz, and I'm the eighth grade math teacher. The Math Hall Awards for Excellence in Math go to Josephine Nunes, Eliana Polino, Athena Robinson, Aaron Kanye, Gavin Swabi, and Nicholas Vera. Congratulations. Congratulations, Class of 2020. This is Ms. Watkins here to present the Mott Hall Excellence in Science Awards to Aaron Coyne, Emmanuel Vega, Luciana Abro, and Angelina Perez. Congratulations. Good morning, family, friends, staff, and class of 2020 graduates. I am Ms. Clark, and the Mount Hall Awards for Excellence in Social Studies go to Yamalex Gonzalez, Cairo Estevez, 
and Jeremy Acosta. Hola, Miss Peguero, Spanish teacher. I'm bringing you the Mar Hall Awards in Excellence in Spanish go to Ryan Cruz, Roberto Romero, and Chantal Rodriguez. Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Mark Steiner. I am the art teacher here at the Mott Hall School. I am going to announce the awards for art and service learning. The awards for excellence, creativity, and dedication in art go to Svetlana Marte, Matyra Mack, Julieta Mercado, Nicholas Vera, Analba Vasquez, Desiree Guilford, and Chris Garcia. Congratulations. The awards for excellence in service learning go to Justin Herrera, Jay Niasco, and Tiffany Quezada. Congratulations, everyone. I'm Mr. Yao. This year, the Sportsmanship Award in Physical Education were presented to Alexander Chavez, Brandon Rodriguez, and Brittany Santos. Greetings, this is Mr. Salcedo, math and technology teacher at the Mott Hall School. And I'll be presenting some awards tonight. The Mott Hall Awards for Excellence in Technology are presented to Raul Bello, Baron Bautista, Juliana Mercado, and Zora Williams. Many students have shown such marked improvement in their subjects and we commend you all and we ask you that continue improving as you go in through high school and life. At this time, we'd like to recognize one student. The Mott Hall improvement goes to Anderson Leonardo. Ms. Burroughs, Ms. Mark Steiner, and I had the pleasure of creating the yearbook with a dedicated team of eighth grade students. I would like to take the opportunity to recognize the yearbook staff for all of their hard work. They managed to finish the yearbook from home, which is no easy feat. I know that the yearbook will be a memento that the class of 2020 cherishes for many years. Thank you to Danny Rao Garcia, Chantal Rodriguez, Aaron Coyne, Angelina Perez, Svetlana Marte, Angel Maranta Frias, Kimani Castro, and Isabella Nihilizio. Thank you guys. Hi, this is Evelyn Camacho Moran, the parent coordinator, welcoming you to the Maho Virtual Graduation. I'd like to take a moment and recognize two parents, Shiaki Torisu and Natalie Bensonson. Their support and help throughout the year with the Parents Association has been outstanding. Thank you so much for all your support this year. We really appreciate it. Luciano Abreu. Germari Acosta Roger Aguiza Denis Alvarado Herrer Diego Arrellano Gabriel Aray Rivera Isabel Atiencia
Baron Bautista. Raúl Velo García. Christopher Bertrán. Yamato Bryant. Penelope Burgos La Antigua. Chris Cáceres. Anthony Carambot. Joel Cardenas. Mark Anthony Castillo. Kimani Castro. Alexander Chavez. Valerie Collado. Suri Córdoba Sánchez. Aaron Coyne. Marcelo Cruz. Ryan Cruz. Jeremy Diaz. Micael Espinal Badía. Cairo Esteves. James Fuentes. Chris Garcia. Daniel Garcia. Brandon Garcia. Kendra Gale. Jamilex Gonzalez.
Daisy González. Daisy Beck Guilford. Robin Hassel. Jaylee Enriquez. Justin Herrera. Dior Hooker. Nasir Huggins. Neftali Jerome. Giselle Jimenez. Crystal Antigua. Anderson Leonardo. Jaden Liriano. Gabriel Lopez. Brandon Lopez. Kayla Maca. Carla Macas. Matyra Mack. Sablana Marte. Dios is Martinez. Carrier Martinez. Julieta Mercado. Angel Moronta Frias. Kevin Mosso Vidal. Isabella Nisilio. Jamie Casio.
Lindsay Núñez. Josephine Núñez. Brandon Ortega. Dick Melling Ortiz. Colleen Park. Ileana Paulino. Angelina Perez. Jael Perez. Daralis Pichardo. Elimar Quesada. Tiffany Quesada. Amir Ramos. Kaylin Reyes. Athena Robinson. Chantal Rodriguez. Patricia Rodriguez. Brandon Rodriguez Guerrero. Liliana Romano. Anaya Romero. Roberto Romero. Joshua Sanchez. María Elisa Santana. Brittany Santos. Ashley Santos. Alvin Selomovic.
Jack Silva. Gavin Swabi. Natalia Torres. Sumaya Udin. Anal Babas, pues. Yvette Vasquez. Emanuela Vega. Nicolás Vera. Leila Vizcaíno. Abigail Wallison. Elijah White. Zora Williams.
scholars, this is the moment we all have been waiting for. Please join me by placing your hand on your tassel that should be on the right side of your cap. As the principal of the Mott Hall School, I certify that our eighth graders have all met the requirements set forth by the state of New York and the New York City Department of Education. By the power vested in me, I hereby declare the class of 2020 to be graduates of the Mott Hall School. Graduates, you may now move your tassel from the right side to the left side. Congratulations! Woo!